the thing is, is there's so many different elements. Got it. Like, the sample I found over there may tie into the ones I'm finding over here. Uh-huh. And the ones, like, on things I'm checking the other side, they may tie into over here. Okay, now you can kind of see the difference here. Uh, and this is the construction mortar. It has the line here and you can see where it changes getting into to all this. So I'm gonna take a sample of what these are set in and what this is set in. Now what, what I expect is I'm gonna find that when they do their testing, they're going to identify this mortar as being similar to the mortar that is around the uh, uh, modification around the window there. Okay. Now, what I, what I try to do is, you know, not uh, disturb any more than I need to. So I'll try to get two samples right from the same area. And what I'm doing is marking the exact area that I'm taking the sample from on the drawing. So, you know, if there's any question, they can come back and look at it. Right. Know exactly where it came from. So you got a piece of shell that just came out of this mortar. Yeah. Can you show us how big the fragment is there? Uh, yeah. Let's see. It's a fragment right there. It's a pretty big size. So they would have had that size and larger in the mortar mix. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh my God. I, I, I found. It's not unusual. I find a third of an oyster shell. In, in some of the backup mortar. They're, they're clearly not refining it to the degree that they do the front. The, the, uh, the front of the building? Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the face of the brick. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You, you figure they're putting their under-fired brick and more coarse mortar behind the face of the building. You know, they, they want their best materials. Uh, towards the side that's going to weather and uh, has a lot to do with how their buildings last. See these little pieces? Yep. They go following them up here. Those are queen closures and you can see that's a that's the end of a brick. So when I see a an end of a brick and a queen closure and then stretchers over top I know there was an opening there. Now I can tell that this these are two different types of mortars. This one is actually pretty early. This mortar I can tell it's a shell mortar more than likely. So this change was done relatively early. You know here's my last queen closure and header, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, this this opening being crossed over so low. So uh, you, you know, there, there's just things going on here. Yeah. That uh, that that bring a, that raise questions. Let's put it that way. Right. Bit of a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. Well. That's why we're here.